so what's your salon syndrome? So I'm, I'm really good with grammar and, and spelling and... Once I saw this documentary about a guy who could fly in a helicopter over a city and then he could draw an exact map of the whole city just out of his memory. Uh, yeah, well, I guess I'm not that kind of autistic. Okay, I know that is how autistic people are usually portrayed by the media. <laughs> and so that's what many people think when they hear autism. Um, it is also said that Einstein could have been autistic, Beethoven, Mozart, like a lot of these geniuses. Um, and yeah, it is, it's true that uh, like about half of the cases of Savant syndrome are linked to autism. But that doesn't mean that all of the autistic people have Savant syndrome. Um, so I read that about like 10% of people with autism have Savant syndrome to a degree. But um, yeah, that doesn't mean that they have these like spectacular abilities, but just that they are better at something like, I don't know, memorizing things or um, yeah, and... <laughs> It's not what people expect. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's, I guess it's part of this Hollywood autism because usually in movies about autism or, I don't know, serious, uh, the autistic people have this one super ability that's so helpful and uh, in the end they find the exact job they need. And yeah, that's not real life, sadly. I wish it was. When I was in the clinic, we were we were joking a lot about this, like what our special ability is. And um, yeah, then I kind of found out that my, I um yeah, that I'm really good at memorizing like song lyrics. Uh, and <laughs> that actually that started as a, uh, very small child when I had this like fever induced seizure and I was at the hospital and, and it was in summer and I was singing all of the Christmas carols because I knew them all by heart and I was like one and a half year old <laughs> and everyone was like what is this child doing and yeah and so that's something I still can do I like yay I can sing along with songs which is not helpful at all in real life but <laughs> yeah um that's that's the sad reality <laughs> okay and um yeah also i don't know the the way autistic people think um maybe makes it easier for us to memorize things like more on the um yeah analytical side more on the systemizing side instead of empathizing and then there's this different kind of perception you know um that you are more sensitive towards sounds and lights and everything so maybe uh, that's also <laughs> kind of a special ability that no one wants to have <laughs> because it's annoying and it's stressing stressful another thing is that uh yeah a lot of autistic people like have these special interests and um some things that they are just like super passionate about and that's also of course plays a role in like knowing everything about this and uh, wanting to learn everything about a certain um, thing when neurotypical people might not have this kind of interest like this passionate and um, or don't focus just on, on one interest only so yeah might also be a reason, but um, yeah, honestly, it's a bit like, I don't know, it's a bit depressing when you are frequent, frequently asked what kind of special ability you have and you just have to say like, none, I don't have any, <laughs> I'm not special, I'm not a genius. I, yeah, that's the way it is. But you can talk. Um, 
I think that that is because、uh, most people when they hear autism, they think of like early infant autism, like the more severe cases,、um, and. So when they hear autism, all they think about is like this or this.、Um, yeah, once again, I have to mention Hollywood autism because、um, people with Aspergers who are portrayed like in the media are usually, I would say, a bit more on the severe side of the spectrum、um, because they have all. Of the traits to an extreme, and、um, yeah, I'm not saying that it's not like realistic. I'm just saying that it's not the case for everyone. <laughs> so、um, yeah, many autistic people, I don't know, can understand sarcasm, for example.、Uh, if it's not every time, maybe so. Yeah, but、uh, <laughs> I don't know.、Um, I can. So yeah, I can talk, I can laugh, even though I usually don't think that、uh, things neurotypical people are laughing about are funny. So like, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand comedy because I don't think it's funny. <laughs> But there are things I find genuinely funny, and I can laugh about them. Like, I'm a huge fan of so bad it's good movies. Oh no, not the beast! Not the beast! Ah! Open my eyes! My eyes! I, I have, I do have problems、um, figuring out if someone makes a joke or means it seriously. That's maybe my biggest problem. So I think most of us like learn to act in a normal way.、Um, that's why I know that I love. When someone shows me something that he thinks is funny, there are high chances that I don't find it funny, but I will still laugh because it's, that's what I learned.、Um, because I, I know that that's expected. <laughs> it's also like this misconception that autistic people don't want to talk to others, but it's just that like most of us don't like small talk because. I personally think it's useless. I personally think it's not interesting at all. It's a waste of time. But I love talking about interesting topics, and when someone is interesting to me, I could talk about it like for days. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard、uh, to stop me when a topic comes up that I'm really, really interested in, and that's when people think I'm weird because, like, in the、uh, psychiatric clinic. We were eating, <laughs> and we had we had lunch, and then I don't even know how, but somehow I came to the topic of transorbital lobotomy, which is one of my favorite topics in the world. And then I started to talk about it, and everyone thought I'm scary. <laughs> I thought, why does she even know this? But yeah.、Um, It doesn't mean that we don't like to talk, and it doesn't mean that we don't like to interact with human beings. Just maybe not as much, and maybe not like for the sake of just talking. You know what I mean? So yeah, most of us can't talk. We really can. Ah,、oh, that's what everyone has these days. Like we didn't have autism. Fifty years ago, I mean. It's not true. It's bullshit. Just because something isn't diagnosed doesn't mean that it that it doesn't exist. Okay.、Um, of course, like, please, like when you think about psychiatry fifty years ago, sixty years ago,、uh, compared to what we have today, it seems like Middle Ages. It basically seems like. Torture and people were locked away. People were undergoing、um, procedures like transorbital lobotomy, or、um, I mean, all they basically had was、uh, electroconvulsive therapy, insulin coma,、uh, 
um, some people were locked away with no hope of ever being released from an asylum and uh, so how can you tell me that we didn't have autism back then when we didn't even have like solid methods of treating mental illness and diagnosing mental illness so yeah once again coping skills I mean um, that's why I don't know I heard, I've heard that um, they thought that um, females didn't have autism or didn't have Asperger's um, but the reason is just because um, girls tend to um, tend to develop better or more coping skills because they are pressured to fit in and they feel a strong need um, to yeah to behave in a way that's expected and um, that's I mean come on that's why there are that's why so many people are misdiagnosed for years for decades and I was diagnosed in my 30s and I was misdiagnosed so much like when people hear um, that you can handle stress that you self-harm and what they come up with is borderline personality disorder even if it is like uh, the complete opposite of autism in so many ways and um, people just think you are acting weird and you for yourself you don't know that you don't feel like anybody else how would you know i mean you only know your own um your own feelings and your own needs and your own um perception so how would you know that what you feel is not the same as anybody else around you does and so you are just left with this feeling why are they different why can't i understand them and why can't they understand me uh and yeah that's i don't know it's it's hard and that's why so many autistic people do self-harm or have suicidal behavior because it's hard to feel different and don't know why and I mean, think like a hundred years ago, people with autism just weren't diagnosed. And they were just like the weird guys or <laughs> like the outcasts. And, um, but that doesn't mean that there weren't people with the exact same syndrome or with the exact same symptoms. And once again, I have to say, I don't consider autism to be a disease it's just the fact that we happen to live in a neurotypical world and so things aren't made for us and so it's hard to get along and that's why we struggle with this high stress levels with uh, overstimulation with meltdowns I mean how would anyone know if you have a child that has learned to act more or less um, in a neurotypical way and then suddenly this child has this massive mel meltdown or not even just the child the adult <laughs> or young adult and what do you think you wouldn't think he or she is autistic you would think like oh, what's happening I mean come on like <laughs> don't freak out pull yourself together because you would think um that he or she is just having a bad day or is just having a bad temper or whatever. And like, I'm 100% sure that my grandpa, uh, like my father's father, was autistic because he had all the traits. I mean, and it was kind of funny because he had, even back then when like nobody else was, he was so passionate about photography, which is, kind of funny because my dad has the same interest and my brother has the same interest I have the same interest and it was very unusual for a person back then especially in in like 
the surroundings he grew up and still it was it was his life you know and then he was constantly attacked by other people for acting weird for um not like socializing properly and they even said things like he was a bad influence on my grandma because he was isolating her because he just preferred to have her as his only person and didn't really want to um, make contact to anybody else or didn't like when uh, they were um, just outside and she was um, talking to someone when she was meeting a friend and talking to him and he didn't like it and I can totally relate because I'm just the same and yeah that's uh, like all of his behavior was like typically autistic behavior and still he wasn't diagnosed why wasn't he diagnosed because people didn't think about it back then because it was I don't know it was much more there was this Sadly, still is the stigma of mental illness and I mean come on autistic is used as like an insult which I personally think is um, disgusting <laughs> it's even used for like uh, I would say sociopathic psychopathic traits and then people say oh you're acting autistic and I'm like no that's not autistic so yeah there is this conspiracy theory going around that um, autism is caused by uh, vaccines, you know, and uh, because apparently more and more children are diagnosed with autism. But what I think is first, as I said, um, every illness is undiagnosed before you decide to go to a doctor and honestly there aren't that much doctors who are specialized in uh, autism, at least here. And, um, yeah, so, and second, I, I had this thought, and I hope you don't get me wrong when I say it, that uh, it might be kind of an evolutionary thing, that maybe uh, autism is on the rise because because of the advantages it has and I mean it does have some advantages like um, when you look at our current state of the world and maybe more autistic people wouldn't be that bad like but that's just a thought and I don't know <laughs> it's, maybe it's as much as a conspiracy theory as the vaccine thing okay the most important things are um, autism is a spectrum. So you have like different cases from very, very severe to uh, rather mild. And because, yeah, everyone, uh, everyone is different. It's not that there is this one autistic personality because um, you have common traits and you have these um, like these symptoms, I call it symptoms for lack of a better word, but not everyone has all of the symptoms. So yeah, everyone's different, everyone has an own personality because you are not just autistic, you are not just hey, I'm autistic and that's mean, that means I have this personality. No, it means that you have certain traits, but you're still a human being with an individual personality and so yeah different people different brains <laughs> yeah so that's basically all i wanted to tell about how people react when i tell them that i'm autistic and if you have other funny reactions or things that are like annoying you you can leave a comment down there and yeah see you soon bye